hey friends welcome to my channel so today I'll take you through to part estimation technique so part basically it is PERT progressive evaluation and review technique I'll also tell you about formulas about part estimate standard deviation and calculation of variance so part estimation was uh, initially started in uh, it was uh, used in 1950 by US Navy when they were uh, carrying out a you know project of ballistic missiles and multiple vendors were involved in that surprisingly the whole project got uh, when it was estimated using PERT it was advanced by two years it is such I mean such a great technique we have another technique as well like we have CPM we have top down we have bottom up but that depends when you want to use what technique but let me tell you the formula about PERT today this is the part I tried to uh, you know uh, represent it graphically so on this particular chart this side we have duration right from here to here this side we have probability of occurrences right from here to here and for example this is optimistic estimate this is most likely estimate this is pessimistic estimate so part is depending on three different estimates and therefore sometimes we also call it uh, three-point analysis or three-point estimates so in that uh, we have three estimate one is optimistic one is uh, pessimistic one is most likely so optimistic I mean if I say about most likely it is a scenario of resource availability productivity dependency or interruptions by considering that you reach to an estimate stating okay this is more most likely I am going to complete this particular activity or this particular task within so and so time optimistic says this uses the optimistic or best case scenario using best practices availability of everything which you need and uh, so this is optimistic estimate and pessimistic is when you have so many risk factors multiple scenarios are affecting your project and uh, it, it is determined basically uh, you know uh, kind of average of uh, estimated duration like uh, on, on uh, previous historical record or uh, considering like uh, resources will not be available this time they may go may, using maximum factors I mean so that is pessimistic maximum length you are thinking this project is going to take so this is pessimistic so optimistic most likely pessimistic so you have three point estimation let's say for one activity you have 10 days 15 days 20 days so what should be your actual estimation that is PERT and this is formula for PERT estimation O4 MP upon 4 or sometime you know people say uh, you can I mean just uh, uh, let me explain it O optimistic plus 4 most likely plus pessimistic divided by 4 so if, if it is 10 days optimistic 10 days most likely 15 days and pessimistic 20 days so 15 plus 15 in uh, 10 plus 15 into 4 60 and plus 20 80 so 4 divided by 4 so it goes to 20 days so most likely it will be completed within 20 days that is that is the formula and uh, standard deviation is you have pessimistic value you have optimistic so pessimistic minus optimistic upon 6 is calculation of standard deviation and variance is standard deviation square is variance so guys this is about part estimate if you have any question or query drop in comment box and also about your understanding drop in comment box so that uh, others people are also getting benefited thank you very much subscribe to my channel take care bye bye